Hey everybody, Mag to Monster here, back with Marvel Heroes. And if you haven't guessed it, we got Taskmaster up on the chopping block. And, uh, did pretty alright with him. Uh, seemed to level a little slower than the other guys, so I think they nerfed some XP going on, especially in X Defense, because that's how I leveled, because, you know, uh, don't really need, um, Odin marks so much anymore, and, uh, so, I figured I'd try to get some gear. That worked. I did get some gear. And I had so many heroes that I was able to use. Uh, anyways. Um, so, I've got a build, and I'm kind of going with a range build. And it really worked awesome in an X defense. And I did a couple cosmics, and it worked pretty good there, too. So, this is what I'm doing. I'm first going to max out Impervious Soldier. Uh, this is basically Captain America's stance. This is giving you maximum health, health per second, and a 45%, well, I'll get into how the stances work, but a chance to ignore the next 730 damage received within 3 seconds. Um, I'm putting 1 point in Hawkeye's stance. Just 1. The only reason is because the attack speed doesn't go up if I put any more points into it. Um, the damage rating to range powers is good, but it doesn't go up phenomenal. It gives me brutal strike rating, which is good, but it doesn't go up to a great amount. And then the dot damage is pretty decent, um, but it's going to stack upon itself, and it's not really going to be that incredible anyways. One point was fine, and look at, I'm already at 20 anyways. I am going to point out flawless em emulation. So 20 points into Pervious Soldier, 20 points into Fault Lawless Emulation. Uh, this is going to give us do defense and dodge rating, and then defense and dodge rating when I use a Captain or Daredevil power. It's going to give us damage and crit rating, and then damage and crit rating when we use an Archer or Spider power. And we're going to use Captain and Archer powers all the time. And we actually have Captain and Archer stances. Go figure. So in order to use Captain and Archer um, powers, we have to have them. And I'm going to point out Rebounding Shield, Captain's Shield Throw. Uh, it does pretty good damage and leaves a dot. That's really what I'm looking for, especially against Cosmics. Maybe they're a spawner. Um, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they don't spawn as much anymore. It seems like they've calmed down the spawning. Uh, so, you know, I, I get the extra damage with a dot, but I'm getting extra damage and everything else, or defense and dodge just by throwing it, and that's really what I'm looking for. And then I'm going to point out Legion Arrow, which is basically Triple Arrow. Uh, so, or not Triple Arrow, uh, what was Hawkeye's? Was it Triple Arrow? Three Round Burst. You know how much I love that. Well, it's even better on this guy. It's phenomenal. Um, massive, massive damage. And then I'm going to point out Tear Gas Arrow. I liked it on Hawkeye. I like it on him. We're kind of face tanking <laughs> with a range build. So we'll be able to get the Tear Gas uh, Arrow down, and that's going to weaken them. They deal 10% less damage anyways. Um, we only have the one one point with action as a one point. It's a one minute cooldown, and it really doesn't do anything phenomenal to warrant pointing out, so I don't point it out. Everything else I have, I'm going to use the anti-hero charge, damage, damage negated 10% for 11 seconds, and uh, that's it. The rest of the points go into dual wield. This actually beats out every other basic for damage, including the melees. <laughs> it's the best basic. The uh, rate of fire goes up as you put points into it, as well as the damage and it just crushes these guys. So even if you want to be melee, just just take dual wield. You can fire at range too and still run in and stand in face to face if you want to with a melee build. Kind of awkward, you'd have to manually move yourself. You don't get the automatic move in, but this is much better damage. That's the reason why I went with dual wield. It's kind of a weird thing. And um, that's actually the build. Gearing, um, I'm doing the double meta sensory array. 
Uh, got a lucky with a 4% attack speed with the plus 1 to all powers and pretty decent damage rating. Um, plus 7 attack speed, high damage rating, plus 1 to all powers. I really want the plus 1 to all powers as well as the attack speed to back up my Legion Arrow, to back up my dual wield. That's really what's going on. Dr. Doom Medallion. Wait, what? Um, the power duration wasn't as important as the chance to fear. If I'm going to have to stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I want things to fear me. And I want health, and I want damage rating, and I want spirit so I can burn down with this Legion Arrow. And if you want health, and you want spirit, and you want regeneration, and all that other good stuff with attack speed, Advanced Super Soldier Serum is going to come in handy. If you're doing all physical damage, and they will be changing Tear Gas Arrow to physical damage, thank you, finally, hopefully they do it for Hawkeye too, um, then you should have the Advanced Crimson Crystal of Cedric with hit points and 2% chance to be invulnerable for 4 seconds when you hit. So you should be invulnerable quite often. And uh, of course, Relic of Lemuria, get some health income. River of the Soul, as previously said, it's so easy to get that anybody can have it, so I go with the one that anybody can have. And actually, this helps out uh, keeping Legion Arrow burning. It hits three times. Dragon Fang. I had it. It actually works. He has a sword. Dragon Fang's a sword. Why not? It's uh, well, plus a huge amount of crit rating. So I get a good crit chance, plus fighting. Look at this guy. This guy's maxed out on fighting. He's beyond fighting crazy. That's interesting to me. I, I never had a character all the way up there. Be even more interesting when they do the stat review, if they ever get around to it. But it's also got uh, critical damage rating, attack speed, and I want attack speed. Um, and weird stuff, 14% chance when you pick up an ore to summon a kinetic ore. Granting defense and reflecting projectiles for 10 seconds. 4% uh, chance when you hit the weaken the target for 10 seconds. These are all one minute cooldowns are weird. 5% chance when you use the power to remove invulnerability shields won't matter. And plus one to all powers, that matters. I did find Agency X body armor for Taskmaster, that's his armor. Plus one durability, 1300 health. Uh, deal damage to attacker. When you take range damage, your range powers cost 10% less and you gain range uh, damage rating. And then I have the same thing with melee powers. Kind of weird. Um, plus one to all powers and plus four to flawless emulation. A basic cosmic hit point, spirit, um, and plus one to all power, uh, cosmic cloak there. These came free in today's gift box, so I threw them on there. It's got hit points and hit point regeneration. Kind of synergizes well with him. Um, and 3% chance when you heal to... When I hit to heal me and my allies for 1500 health, that's on a minute cooldown, it's kind of bad. But a chance to, when you're attacked to drop the shield med kit. Hopefully there's tons of those all over the place. And then when you use a shield med kit, your nearby allies regenerate an extra 41.5 spirit. That's kind of awesome. And then plus two at all powers. And then just a basic farming cosmic shield, plus one all powers, rare item find, special item find, plus one all photo, uh, photographic reflexes. And that's photographic reflexes here. So I will show you how it works with cosmic kingpin. Just got done doing Black Panther. Be a little bit different. This will not be a hit and run. This will be a, a hit and keep hitting. As you can see, his basic does a lot more damage. And that's got to be a proc off of one of those uniques. For trash, the shield's awesome. Try to use both because you get that uh, buff, and that's actually a reason to, uh, as you can see, I'm burning down this cosmic yellow, like no tomorrow, with that triple arrow. That's how much damage it does. Look at that. He blues is dying.
not really need XP, but I need the orbs. Look at all the, the med kits dropping. <laughs> I wonder what that does to their server. That's a lot of mobs. There's the damage shield. I don't know if I was to pick a legendary for him. Maybe the bow, maybe Gungner. Attack speed's really awesome with this. That's why the bow. So he's going to be the challenge. Oh, nope. That's interesting. No missile reflect. This is what you'd be doing if there was. As soon as something happens you don't like, just get out. Reset everything.
Where to go? Ah. Oh. Those arrows just burn them down. Now oh, there's all this loot everywhere. That's why it could actually work with uh, if you had missile deflect, it really doesn't affect you too terrible. A, you can still get the lob out, which is the uh, tear gas arrow. And B, you're kind of standing there all the time anyways. And you're just getting out of there when it's bad. Again, uh, just like Black Panther, mortars, when you start seeing those things close down on top of you, get out of there. That's not going to be a good time for you. One of these guys. Okay, now it's done. So, uh, there it is. I don't have a name for it. I really don't know uh, Taskmaster too much. He's kind of a mimic, so it's a Hawkeye mimic. You know, he actually does this better than Hawkeye does, which is kind of ironic. And he actually does it a lot better. <laughs> uh, but Hawkeye can definitely burst out a lot more damage when he wants to. So, Hope it helps. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll come up with a name, and I'll put it on top of the, the video, and that's when you guys will know. Talk to everybody later.